Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys uh, my competition game. Uh, I had a competition uh, in 15th of the January yeah, in Hong Kong. Sadly, last year, 2022, there was no competition. Uh, 2021, the, the end of the December, that was my uh, last offline competition in Hong Kong. Yeah, because the last year, the the situation was not good uh, so finally there was competition in Hong Kong so in Hong Kong the uh, highest open group is uh, played for two days so I have played the first and second and third round in uh, 8th of the January on Sunday and then 15th of the uh, January on and next Sunday and this is my second week yeah we are playing the three games and three games so first two, three round also this time my opponent was quite not easy yeah so I won three game and then I can show you from my fourth game and uh, in this competition there were some new phase from China yeah normally in Hong Kong there are some few top players in Hong Kong yeah but uh, surprisingly the my fourth round opponent beat uh, one of the past Hong Kong champion that who was very who is very strong yeah so uh, I checked that game and then my opponent beat uh, that the strong player and as I know that uh, my fourth round opponent was insane of the China before I'm not pretty sure but I heard about that yeah so now he is very very young about 20 years old and also as I heard that he is going to university in Hong Kong that's why he joined it here first time so I prepared very hard because the, on the first week when I was playing the competition my reading was not really, wor really working well and especially in this time I couldn't really prepare well for my competition yeah so it was not I expected it was not that easy game okay let's just start to see from now oh uh, I'm black and he is white and uh, Josegi is I'm not sure whether he has prepared this one or not. I also played this Josegi quite many times and uh, I was expecting him to play this move at the first time yeah you saw that many times uh, no white can even pincer this way first something like this although my information was not really perfect I was preparing to play this one I can't avoid about this kind of a Josegi Every time it was happening in my actual game for the Fox Nine player, I mean with the, against the Fox Nine players, but uh, he used the simple Joseki, so it makes me a little bit more comfortable. Uh, I can't say it was my perfect information too because I didn't have, it wasn't happen my opponent to play this one. Yeah, it was like sure I need to play this one, yeah, and I didn't have any chance to play this one, but. You know, we, it doesn't mean we can search all the information with AI, although we are keep having the review. So I just played here, but right, AI's recommendation was here, but I think it's okay. It's not a big problem. And uh, it was like very certain information until now. And then I was thinking whether I have to support this group one more time and just Tenuki. And he just immediately pincer here. At this moment, yeah, maybe he wanted to press this group. So now I have played here. Uh, yeah, we spent for some times to think in this area. I was expecting him to play like this kind of aggressive move. Yeah, the first. It was like somehow making my group a bit more heavier in case he can play like that while extending. So his decision was just playing Kusumi here. Somehow it makes my single stone a bit lighter. So. At this moment, I spent some time whether I have to surround and let him play here or Tenuki. But actually, this is not that strong and then it's not that light. Of course, I can't block here. This is very obvious, right? Yeah, so I was thinking about those variations I just extend here. Because now blocking value is not that big. So I expected him to jump out. This was exactly what I expected for the actual game Yeah, until now. But now AI recommend me to play this one. It's a bit better. For the center condition is much more great as you've seen it. Yeah. All right. Still, game condition was very hard. And then he immediately get in here. I was thinking a while whether I have to play this move. 
and then when it plays something, the corner territory condition is not that clean. Yeah, that's one of the part that I don't like. And uh, but when I play here, it doesn't mean this is solution because when he wedge here, although this is getting stronger, but actually white is also getting stronger. Yeah, honestly, for um, compared to this one, I was expecting him to play the knight move. And somehow those group had a connection. Um, so when I approach somewhere, yeah, it makes uh, white much stronger. Nearly those are connected. I mean this group and this group. That's why it was my expecting. But he just decided to push in here. But it doesn't mean it's a mistake. Later, just I had uh, some happy part. I can consider to separate those group and then still there has a blocking RG. Yeah. And then I just go to the upper side, and it was the biggest. I was expecting him to play extended here at the first, but he decided to pincer. And then I just play here, this one, and here. At this moment, it was not that easy. Um, simply, my opponent has decided to play the one space jump. I was expecting him to play this move. Maybe I think he doesn't like some variation, whether I will wedge here, there is like the some trading, yeah. So I think immediately he answered, but honestly I expected this one or attachment here. It makes me a bit more stressful, but in the actual game since he plays here, I just play the hat. Um I think maybe it's just my understanding. Now he until now maybe he thought this exchange was already still in my the, the upper side the territory. That's why maybe his mood was not bad, but when I beat this one, then I nearly have a connection with those two groups and then I can even get the bonus later with this kind of uh, pip here. So I wasn't really feeling, it was unhappy for me, I think it was okay to me. And uh, there were there were a few options uh, my expecting. At the first I, we, I was thinking him to play the attachment here, and this was like taking the base better and he can go out to the center yeah so now even until now knight move was still understandable and since he decided to play the knight move and I was expecting this move yeah when I just want to steal the base and then he can push and jump this was what I was reading but after exchange and then he just attached here at this moment I felt that it might be a bit happy for me yeah because now if I just honey white extend here I can just extend here this is a bit concentrated, right? If there was like attach and then extending, of course white has to go out with the knight move, yeah, because there will be Tetsuji combination, yeah, and the white can connect. However, but the uh, point is actual game wasn't really like that, and then attach and then I think maybe after this he doesn't like to use this one, so he just double hana here. At this moment, I was thinking a while whether I have to retrade the game and then when he just Atari is here whether I have to give up or just block and connecting this kind of evaluation is really hard honestly but AI asked me to do that yeah you can check here hmm? sorry yes although not that much this is obviously better compared to my extending I just decided to ex extend here I thought in the actual game, like this, the condition is quite okay for me because still I felt that those balance is a bit concentrated, this too. I mean it should be like pushing while knight move. And then later I can even bother the li life and that, although not right now. Yeah. If I do it right now, then it will be a bit risky. In case I can't capture him, then it will be the losing point. And then um my goal was make him to spend one more move here. If I just separate here and then he just plays somewhere at the center, now here is a neutral point. But let's say that I just play anywhere else than that I just let him play here, then you will be happy for me. So I was thinking for many variation, but approaching here wasn't really attractive for me if you just want to connect here or one space jump. So I didn't want to give him connections, so I just separate here. Yeah. So since now I felt that the mood was good for me, but as you seen it, AI always can find out the solution how he can take care, yeah, all the group. I think he can serve it even I invade here. Just he can take the 
uh, big place and of course AI will confident to take care of his four stones as well so maybe I think uh, at this moment white will be a little bit more stressful yeah so in the actual game he just pins her pip here this pip was very interesting just like if I block here then he can push one time then uh, even maybe he can push this as well I'm not sure with which variation he, he was thinking about it yeah, because now he can cut this one it doesn't mean it's good for white because white is also losing many points there but you know i just was caring about that one and the, even this connection is not the clean that's the point if like just honey here here white stones are captured and white must play here but if i play here their connection is not that clean that's the problem of the yeah this peep is not that useful to white so he used a very unique idea he wanted to do here by Sente. So just like he wa really wanted to yeah, catch the Sente. At this moment, yeah, this move was giving me a bit more decision. Like when I separate and he wants to, no matter how he wants to connect or capture this one. Because since I lose this stone, it will be a bit risky attacking. Yeah, if I can't get anything from this cutting. So I just thought uh, still connecting with no problem and then when he just connects here and I wanted to yeah let him play at the second line but always AI's uh, yeah understanding is a bit different still is good for black right yeah because now just now white decision was not that good and this P was also not that good that's why it makes me much stronger so there are many decisions but this is actually no problem so already now black is starting to read from now I have a control after I make him to play at the second line and then when I repress from the side and I can get the very natural territory it will be nearly territory and the white life and death condition is not the clean that's the point yeah if you want to survive then that's no problem to put here like this but the point is if white has to play here is already I get many things so white decided to go out to the center and then I stop right now the reason why I can use it like if I get stronger I can try to kill or I can use from the territory side and then let force him to spend one more move to save at the sec first line so I just left there because white has nothing to do I can decide it later so I I think bo we both realized that uh, black is a bit better I'm not sure how he was thinking so I just start to have end game and those end game is keep giving white stress as well extending here white is losing a lot of point so he spent for a long time and they finally just block here oh even this cutting is okay like I have really so many options from here uh, I didn't know which one I had to decide I can show you share with you the variation of course I can't go out immediately it will be the loose ladder but I can just Atari and then connect and save saving is one of the option I don't think white will let me do that I was expecting him to play here and then let me capture here and take this first yeah although he lose single stone another one is I can just peep here and uh, I don't think white can just connect as I remember <laughs> and I can connect the capturing race condition if I to push here I can push and cut uh, anywhere will be broken you know so white must uh, connect and then I have too many options even though I just block here it will be like very capturing famous capturing race shape I don't need to even give him the core I can just surround here then that means which means when I go there he need to play here and then we will have this trading I read this too yeah I read exactly but maybe two, those two, uh, two are better but it's like I'm hoping him to answer like that and I want to do that it's amazing because later I may not have a chance to do that so I was thinking for a long time and then finally I decided to, to just peep here yeah but I think maybe it was a bit greedy oh uh, yeah compared to just uh, Atari <laughs> anything is okay yeah one point a bit behind oh but still AI I recommend why to, to answer here this pip is also okay uh, yeah so at this moment I feel today very happy white mission is saving this group by sente because there is some hiding eye now this will be his sente and this is also his sente and then now he has a capturing he has a just jumping here 
So he just uh, uh, did until now, and then he returned to capture uh, three stones. It was very understandable, but maybe still, although I just don't capture anything, still black condition is okay. Yeah. I decided to push and then left there. Maybe my pressing method was a bit not good. This pressing compared to... Yeah, this extending pressing is losing less point in the center. I push there because later if this is my benefit, and that you will be happy for me to jump here. This was my expecting. But when he plays here, that's a big point problem. If I do that, I'm giving him this one. Then now center is open. If I don't give up here, then later he has a chance to capture my three stones. It was quite big. That's why AI judges that my decision was not perfect yet. All right, so now I still thought I was leading. Actually, I didn't think that I was any problem there, but <laughs> maybe I lost at some point, yeah. Okay, so I, uh, I was thinking even which side I need to press him, whether I'm earning how many points, and then when I play here, the point condition I judge, and then also still there will be some wedge here, like this combination. There will be still hiding about the Aji. So of course he knows that, so he just jump here, and then like it's very bad exchange, but he is just keep preparing to cover, uh, protect his RG, uh cutting the weakness efficiently. So he just exchanged and finally survived there. Luckily, still I'm leading. Yeah, that was what I felt that too. And then the game was a bit hard. And then when I play here, yeah, I think White will not answer. I didn't like this one. And then when I do not exchange it, the later I'm afraid that whether he will jump here. So my idea was I just cut and then just jump here. In case he wants to, to capture his my two stones, I, I already blocked here. So I wanted to give up. If he doesn't play, I want to leave this Atari. That was my idea in the actual game. So still we are going to the end game. It was a very close game. AI asked me to do the RG. It doesn't mean I couldn't see this RG in the actual game. Yeah, always this is quite annoying for white. Yeah, because now white can't give up like that. Uh, although I don't capture white is losing many points, but we need I need to take the risk after uh, he plays here or here. Then if maybe this is a bit obvious, I can try to press from here. I was thinking of, for a long time about this RG, whether I will take this risk, and if I can't make handle the life and death properly. Then you will be like, you know, losing many points. That's why I didn't decide. Because at this moment, I know that I was leading the game. Yeah. But still, my decision was not the best in the actual game. Where did I go? I just block here. Yeah. And then, it was a very simple variation. And uh, I'm still winning about 3.5, right? Yeah. After this. The center is main point of this game. And he still care about the Aji, about the wedge here. So he couldn't decide to, to jump here. Uh, I'm not sure about how he was looking for the situation. So I Atari, and then here. And then at this moment, I just Han and connect, and then connect. This connecting is like, I was keep thinking how I need to settle about this, the upper corner. And uh, I just connect here, because after that, I can press his life and death. If you just connect here, I, I thought I, w I was leading the game. So, um, actual game, he just ignore. And then finally, I bother his life and death. So since now, I really realized that I'm winning the game. The reason why, when he answers, this is Sente. And then I can bother. And then this life and death will be quite in danger. Maybe it might be dead. So he couldn't answer. So... He just tried to, yeah, make something, but now this was Sente, so I already get many point. I didn't chase that, I just returned to take the territory, already white lost the many point there. So white has to make something there, yeah, like this, he need to do that and try to kill something. So uh, the point is the, now you know this is like, in Hong Kong we are using the one hour timeout rule, so if we spend all the time that we are just losing, although we are winning the game. So now uh, we both didn't have enough time. So I just press this group first and then because I need to 
yeah, attacking. So now this can press white to the upper side group and then I block here. Yeah, although he tried many things that it didn't really work. All right, so I just defend here. So it was gone until now. Yeah, uh, I get many in the upper side. Uh, and finally, I won around 10.5. Yeah, we are counting the with Chinese for 7.5 Gumi. So first, uh, uh, second day, first opponent was not that easy because he, if he was inside, then definitely, then he is really good player. And then, uh, as I told you, the, he beat the, one of the strongest level of a Hong Kong player in the first day. Yeah. Oh, uh, so I tried to focus really, really hard for this game, and luckily, yeah, I could win win this game, yeah, without accident. Oh, uh, yeah, but you know, it's fourth round still. I had to win the two more round. So let's see, uh, what kind of a game I'm going to show you guys. Anyway, thank you so much, everybody, for watching for my competition game. Then see you guys next time. Bye.